I'm Xanderwood. I make indie games and tutorials on game development. I also play your indie games every week on my channel. Make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon so you never miss a video. Before we get into the video, just a massive thank you and a shout out to James Welch, Clone13, FuzzleCC, Basic Terror, and Tamara Alexic for supporting my game dev journey. I took part in a game jam and made a relaxing lawnmower simulator set in the tranquil English countryside. The theme for the first weather jam is shortcuts and it was hosted by youtube game developer wadi instantly i started thinking of short haircuts and maze games my first idea was actually a haircutting game where the player would have to use the mouse to shave people's heads but i simply couldn't think of ways to make the game fun and engaging so i scrapped it i decided to return to my original idea but instead of a haircutting game i decided to go with grass i was able to map out a basic grid using construct 3's tile movement behavior i got a simple square moving around the grid using the arrow keys quite quickly. Next, I added in some rocks, which the player must navigate around. I gave them the solid behavior. I also used the grass tile I made and added a second frame to show the rock and set the event sheet to enable the solid behavior if the frame was equal to one. I added boundaries again using the solid behavior and set the player character to move forward every tick allowing the player to only control the left and right direction. I also added a condition that prevented the player from turning 180 degrees back on themselves. Next, I needed to create a difficulty curve. I figured, what better than a limited amount of fuel? As the player had free control to choose whichever path they wanted to cut the grass, they would need to make good decisions to conserve enough fuel to make it around the entire garden. I added fuel canisters that would replenish fuel if the player glided with them. I mapped out a few levels with each, what I considered to be increasing difficulty, and started playtesting. When I was happy with the level design, I started working on ways to add levels of polish. The first thing I added was bunnies. I drew up some pixel bunnies using the built-in editor in Construct 3 and animated them in a running left, right, up, down, idle, eating and death states. I then set a random number generator as a local variable inside the bunnies event sheet to choose a random number every three seconds. Depending on the number chosen, the bunnies state would either be set to run left, right, up, down, eat or idle. If the state was chosen as run, I added a sub event to see if the path ahead was clear. If it was, then perform the action. If it wasn't, then just reset the random number generator and start again. Killing the bunnies was oddly satisfying, but I wanted to juice things up even further. So I added a blood trail. I did this by adding a boolean variable to the lawnmower called blood trail. If the lawnmower collides with the bunny, set boolean blood trail true. If boolean blood trail is true, I asked the system to create the blood trail sprite every tick for a couple of seconds at position X and Y of the lawnmower. Simple. I then found a juicy sound effect of fruit being squashed to add in at the exact moment of impact. And that's how I created the bunny deaths. Now, because I knew of Wadeep's fondness for watermelons, and coupled with the fact that I was creating a game based in a garden, how could I not add in some? I created a sprite for the melons, and again, using the built-in pixel editor, I drew up some designs. I then drew a smaller watermelon slice which I'd spawn in if the player hits the watermelons. I created a simple function to control this and told the system to create five instances of the melon slice when the player drives over the watermelon. I gave the watermelon slice the tween behavior and set them to on created tween away from the player giving a sense that they've been squashed and shot out. I set the opacity of each slice at zero when they are created and again using the tween behavior I set them to tween from zero to 100% opacity. To stop the player from instantly picking them up on created, I set a condition that only allowed the player to collect the slice if the slice opacity was 100%. Lastly, I added water traps, music, sound effects, and the game was ready for submission. I have uploaded the source file along with the soundtrack and artwork to itch.io and of the Construct 3 asset store to buy and download if you want to see how I made the game. Once purchased, you can change and modify the game in any way that you like. If you want access to all my source code, artwork and music as soon as it's available, you can sign up to my Patreon. There's a link in the description if you want to know more. Well, that's it for this video. Take care, my friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Welcome to the Shortcuts Lawn Map. Now, let's start with the basics. Use the WASD keys to mow this patch of grass. You will notice your fuel tank is pretty small. Great work. You're a natural. Let's move on to lesson two. As I previously mentioned, your gas tank is kind of small. Therefore, it's imperative that you conserve fuel by taking shortcuts. You can also replenish your fuel by picking up those handy fuel canisters. Now let's see if you can... Nice work. Let's move on to your final lesson. 
be on the lookout for wildlife. Nothing clogs up a lawnmower engine like bunny guts. Congratulations, you have successfully completed the Lawnmower Academy's basic training. Congratulations, you've managed to successfully navigate your way around four challenging gardens. Don't forget to give this game a solid 5 out of 5 in the star ratings. <laughs> 